the system of equations. We must deal with them all at once. Always looking for solutions. Positive outlook overcomes. Hello, my name is Roy Simpson, professor of mathematics at Gassumnus River College in Sacramento, California. This is uh, probably the fourth video in an introduction series for linear algebra. And we're just going through a lot of definitions right now. This definition here is likely going to be new to a lot of people. And that's totally okay. It's just a single little definition, but it is kind of important. So let's talk about this. Equivalent systems, two systems, and specifically we're gonna be talking about linear systems, so let's just keep it as linear. Two linear systems are equivalent if they have the same solution set. And there's a little warning down here. Two equivalent linear systems need not be represented by the same set of equations. So that's pretty dense. So let's parse this apart. So we're given two systems and we're told that they are equivalent if they have the same solution set. Now we know from our prerequisite algebra that if you have, and I'm just gonna keep this very simple, a two by two system that is graphically represented by two lines. So you may have a system uh, with these two lines right here and notice they intersect only at one spot, right? And so there we go, that's the solution set. That's, that point right there is the solution set for that system. Now let's create another system. And again, that just means another set of equations. And this time we're gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna have one be increasing. Whoops, I missed the mark a little bit. Let me do it like this. I have one increasing here. And uh, let's have one that's really uh, super steep, like something like this. Visually, you could see that these are probably roughly the same point. Let's pretend that's the point zero comma one, and this is the point zero comma one. So these two systems, while they don't represent the same equations, they have the same solution set. Therefore, these are called equivalent systems. Let me showcase this with an actual example. We're gonna create two equivalent linear systems where the component linear equations are not the same. I hope you would agree that that linear system represents the line y equals three x plus one, which is a line with slope three going through the point zero comma one. So it looks something like that. Whoops, I missed my mark, that's okay. I'll make my mark bigger. And then the second equation is a line with slope negative three, again, going through zero comma one. So yay, there is the solution to that system. Now let's create a completely different system of different linear equations like maybe something like, oh, I don't know, let's do uh, just x plus one and let's make it really interesting, okay? So if I were to graph this, you could see, again, the very first equation goes through one, zero comma one, it has a slope of one. And the second equation is just y equals one. But they both, both equations simultaneously go through the point zero comma one. So both of these systems share the same solution set. Therefore, these systems are considered to be equivalent systems, even though they don't have the same exact equations. They are equivalent systems because they have the same solution set. So it's very important that you understand that definition because we're gonna be using that definition quite a bit. If I say I have two systems that are equivalent, that does not mean that their equations are equal. It just means that their solution sets are equal. Wherever their equations or their graphs cross, I guess you could think of it that way, they cross at the same points in both systems. Again, I just wanna drive home the point that equivalent systems need not have the same equations. These equations are definitely not the same, but the solutions to each system are exactly the same. The solution sets are the same sets, and therefore these systems are equivalent. I know I'm beating a dead horse there, but the reality is that's such an important definition for us that I want you to be uh, very aware of it. We're gonna be using that quite a bit. All right, that finishes this video, very short. Uh, but again, this is the way I kind of want to do the introductory material for linear algebra. 
All right, I hope to see you in the next video. It's the system of equations. We must deal with them all at once. Always looking for solutions. Positive outlook overcomes. Obstacles getting in our way comes. Effects more than we can sometimes see. Things for what they are and work together until you feel at peace. Listen close. Don't talk too much. That isn't kosher. Really hurt inside. It doesn't justify you to speak too loud and cry.